Hello, this is John Tobin, Trilio Solution Architect. Welcome to our demo video for our new feature in Trilio Vault for Kubernetes 2.0, Namespace, Backup, and Restore. This feature makes it extremely simple to backup and restore all application components in a Kubernetes namespace. For the demo, I've created two simple namespaces for the running application we're going to backup. One's called NS Backup and the other NS Restore. Speaking of applications, let's take a look at what we have running. This application is a user portal that consists of a front-end 3-node Nginx replica set and a back-end MySQL database pod. Additionally, MySQL leverages a Kubernetes secret and PV. As you can see in the storage class, this Rancher Managed Kubernetes cluster is running in AWS with EBS providing enterprise-grade storage through the EBS CSI driver to MySQL. Once Trulio Vault for Kubernetes is installed, the application will register custom resource definitions, CRDs for short, with the Kube API server, giving users familiar with Kubernetes a native self-service backup capability. One of the CRDs registered is called a backup plan, which is a plan to protect an application. This backup plan says to store our backups at the target S3 and AWS S3 bucket for all objects located in the NS backup namespace. Here we can see the, black, the backup plan is applied to the cluster. From this backup plan, we've created a backup called user portal full. Now let's create a restore from this backup. We've pre-created a YAML file to restore this backup to the NS restore namespace we saw earlier. Even though this restore was quick, about a minute and a half, we're going to skip forward to save some time. One thing to note, since Trilio registers its resources, or CRDs, with the Kubernetes API, native Kubernetes inspection commands, like a describe, work with Trilio resources as well. For this restore, we can see that its status is complete. Let's take a quick look in the NS Resource namespace to make sure our user portal application is running. All resources look good and are up and running. To recap quickly, We've shown our ability to easily back up both persistent and non-persistent application resources by defining a namespace to protect. In addition to that, you've seen Trilio's integration into the Kube API server for a native self-service Kubernetes experience that your DevOps and application teams can easily understand and integrate into their workflows. Thanks for joining us today.